Fremantle at the end of the 19th century was thriving. The gold rush had begun and the state's population tripled in less than 10 years. Icons of Fremantle were being constructed, including Victoria Hall. Before he became a decorated World War I general, architect Talbot Hobbs designed some of Fremantle's most famous buildings. Built as a parish hall by the Anglican Church in 1897, Victoria Hall served as a meeting place, a dance hall, a community social centre and a concert venue in its 121 year life. The Happy Hour Club held dances here in the 1930s and the Wrightsons had their dance studio here after the Second World War. It was home of the Deck Chair Theatre and more recently the Fly By Night Club, hosted musicians from across the country and all around the world. Threatened by bulldozers many times since the car revolution in the 1960s, Victoria Hall was saved by the passionate Fremantle community that recognised the importance of one of the last remaining heritage buildings on the eastern side of King Square. And it's the $270 million redevelopment of King Square that's giving Victoria Hall a new lease of life. Just 50 metres away from Victoria Hall, King Square Renewal Project is driving the revitalisation of Fremantle City Centre. In addition to 1,500 new workers in the inner heart of Fremantle, a new hospitality and retail space, private residential development has for the first time in decades seen an inner city population of Fremantle homes. The city of Fremantle purchased Victoria Hall in 1999, returning it to its original splendour. Our careful adherence to the borough charter has ensured the heritage of this beautiful building to remain intact for another century. Victoria Hall has been an icon of Fremantle for 121 years, and now it's time for a new chapter in its storyline.